Yo, what's going on, Washington Commanders fans? I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be giving you guys some roster updates that we have made, and also I'm going to be giving you guys my uh, five keys to victory, and I'm also going to be giving you guys my prediction, my final predictions for the Titans versus the Commanders game. But before we do get into that, make sure you like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and yeah, we're on the road to 400. So thank you guys for the support, and let's do this. So the Commanders have elevated linebackers Kaliki Hudson and linebacker John Harris. And earlier this week, Ron Rivera did say that we would upgrade Kaliki Hudson. I mean, uh, well, linebackers. He didn't say Kaliki Hudson. But he did say that we were going to be um, moving some guys up from the practice squad, some linebackers up. So I just assumed it was Kaliki Hudson, which it was. And, you know, Kaliki Hudson wasn't that bad uh, in 2020. Um, he had two starts, 14 tackles, and a QB hit. So, yeah, he was pretty solid in his two starts. So he's really familiar with the defense. And, you know, he's a, def a definitely a good upgrade over Mayo. Anyone really is. And, yeah, hopefully he could, you know, make an impact tomorrow. Never know any given Sunday. But yeah, uh, we have also made some other roster moves. We have activated center Tyler Larson from the reserve slash physically unable to perform list. And we've also placed linebacker Eif uh, Emilio Eifler on the reserve injured list. So uh, Eifler might be done. I'm not sure. But it's unfortunate because he really hasn't got much of a shot. And in preseason, he was actually pretty solid. So... You know, that sucks. Um, and, yeah, I'm just going to get into my... Uh, I'm just going to get into my keys, five keys to victory. Uh, so, basically, start off strong. Start off fast. Get the ball out of Carson Wentz's hands. And in order to do that, though, we do have to protect them. <laughs> to protect Carson Wentz for at least longer than two seconds. Two to three seconds. So, make sure you guys get the ball out of Carson Wentz's hands. Um, Scott Turner, it's not that hard to do. Develop plays that will get Terry McLaurin the ball. It, it's not that hard. Every every wide receiver one on their team can get the ball, but Terry McLaurin. Like they find ways. Other teams find ways to get their best player on offense involved. But commanders, like we just don't know how to get our best players involved. It, it doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, the run game is also another key to victory for me. Uh, you know, maybe Robinson gets like 10, five, 10 carries. I think he'll get more than five, but like 10 carries. Uh, I think him and Gibson will split. And then Jonathan Williams gets like five, maybe. I don't know. Um, you know, we got to open up this playbook more in the next coming weeks, especially with Brian Robinson uh, returning. And we also... Uh, need to create mismatches like Ron Rivera said earlier this week in the press conference with the three tight ends that we have. Um, I don't know what uh, Logan Thomas's status will be, um, but he could be playing. You know, he popped up on Friday with the calf injury. So I don't know what his status is, but it looks like he's a game time decision. So uh, regardless if he plays or not, Cole Turner will get uh, get the start with um, Logan Thomas and the other guys, um, and the other guys. So yeah, that's that. And then another key to victory for me, um, you know, win the turnover battle, get, generate some turnovers. Like last week, if the penalties, if we didn't have so many penalties, we would have had two interceptions, but of course they got called back. So that's just unfortunate, but you know, at least we tried to, um, oh, yeah, we also had to reduce the penalties. Like, the penalties have been killing us. Uh, we're, we're shooting ourselves in the foot. Like, anytime we get a good play, it gets turned over. So we got to limit the penalties. You know, Cosme, when he was out there, he was just really holding on for dear life. Uh, Trey Turner was bad. False starts. Just the whole O-line was really bad. Uh so I really hope that we 
play a little bit more discipline. Like Ron Rivera has to discipline these guys. It's it really feels like these guys are not disciplined. Um, yeah, that's another key to victory. Another key to victory for me is getting off the field. Uh, but in order to get off the field, you know, defense has to get some breather. Um, offense is going three and out. So, you know, that goes with starting off fast. Do not uh, go three and out. Let this defense um, get a breather so, they, so that they can produce all their energy out on the field, um, you know, for all four quarters and not just only the first couple of quarters. You know, you don't want to burn out your defense. So, yeah, make sure that we're uh, not going through and out on offense and make sure that we are causing three and outs on defense. Um, and final key to victory for me is, uh, did I say run game? Uh, the final key to victory for me is, you know, um, defense, yeah, get some, generate some more sacks. Defense is going to have to generate some more sacks. Um, I'm tired of just only seeing Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne generate sacks. No, this is a team sport and other guys got to step up. Montez Sweat has been a big disappointment. You know, he gets pressures, but he never gets there. Just get there. You're, you're one inch close. You're one step behind. Every time he's one step behind. If you could just get there a little bit quicker, you'll get the sack. So, yeah, I want some sacks from Shaka Tony and Montez Sweat, Daniel Wise, all these guys that are going to be playing tomorrow. And, yeah, that's really the keys to victory for me. Oh, also limit, uh, try to contain Derrick Henry. I know that's not easy, but, you know, anything's possible. So, yeah, we're really going to have to limit him. Uh, you, take out, you take out Derrick Henry and really there's no one else because that, Titans offense isn't really healthy. They really only have uh, Robert Woods. That's their starting receiver. So, yeah, this defense has gotten it easy this week. You know, um, just try to contain Derrick Henry. This rushing defense isn't that bad. Um, if we could, you know, hold him to under like 80 yards, that would be nice. Um, no touchdowns. And, yeah, let's get this going. And then for me, you know, I thought I feel like this game might be closer than what it's actually what I'm actually gonna say, but you know, they haven't proven me wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and say the Titans get the W, uh, twenty four to fourteen, um, or maybe twenty four seventeen. I don't really know, but it it's not looking good for us. Like it 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 could really it's fifty fifty to be honest. Like I don't know. I don't know who to pick, but I'm going to just go with the Titans on this one, 24 to 14. Uh, and, yeah, I really think that offense just – they somehow just still are in the, the – uh, they're still not looking good. I just feel like they they just will find a way to mess it up. And I feel like defense will come out there looking good and then offense will just still be playing bad. But you never know, any given Sunday – um, you know, let me know your thoughts um, in the comments. Do you think Ron Rivera should be on the hot seat if we lose this game? You know, one and four, and there's still rumors that he's not on the hot seat. Um, you know, Bleacher Report said that he wasn't on the hot seat, and which is crazy to me because going one and three in your third year of rebuilding is just like you're not making any pro progress. We're actually going backwards. So I really want to know your thoughts on that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, let's get this W. Hopefully we can get this W. Hopefully I'm wrong. Please prove me wrong, Commanders. And yeah, without further ado, hope you guys enjoy the video. And yeah, peace.